now we're going to remove the trigger assembly. That's by removing this straight screw here at the rear of the receiver. Disengage the safety. Pull the trigger to drop the hammer in the fire position. Move the trigger assembly to the rear of the receiver till the rail is clear. And then she just comes right out. After you release the trigger housing, you can pull out the shell stop lever on the right side of the receiver. Now we're going to remove the lock screw and the carrier pivot screw on both sides of the receiver. to the rear and remove the carrier assembly and the bolt. And there you have it.